So I posted on Facebook that we were doing this experiment with our kiddos because we are learning about um, classif classifications and kingdoms for science. And we our current study was on microbiology and then we were working on bacteria. And part of the experiment was to get some dishes and grow bacteria from different things. And I had a lot of people ask to share what we found. And the funny thing was the assignment said to use yogurt to build bacteria because it's supposed to have live cultures. And obviously the yogurt we have does not have very good live cultures. There's maybe like one growth here, one there, and one there. So not the best. And how we did these is we had a clean um, sterile Q-tip kind of thing that came with this test kit where all the Q-tips were in a sealed container and you open it and so you don't touch it to anything before you touch it to the surface you're testing. And then you take that Q-tip and you roll it and move it in a pattern covering the entire dish. And then these dishes were closed and um, put inside our incubator at, um, it said between 98 to 100 degrees, and we had it at 99.3 for about two or three days. So obviously yogurt didn't do the best. This is a pencil that the kids had been using that day and hadn't been clean. So obviously some bacteria growth. These areas are where there was more bacteria and grew larger. This was my phone, which is now going to be washed super well because that is nasty. This was an orange that we had not washed. It had just been on the counter from the store. And we wiped the little Q-tip all over, all around the orange. Um, also, for a lot of these surfaces, I didn't do it for the yogurt, but for, like, the orange and the phone and the pencil, you had to pre-wet the Q-tip um, with clean water to before you took the sample. And so there was a lot of, you know, a lot of this area doesn't have growth, but... There's obviously some pretty big ones. And then this was our computer mouse, which we do wipe off periodically, but obviously we need to do that more. Now, what part of this test, um, when I saw that this is what we're doing, I wanted to test out different um, eco or cleaner, less chemical ways of cleaning surfaces because, um, you know, obviously lots of different companies claim that they clean well or kill bacteria or viruses, but... I always have a hard time taking those studies because, you know, obviously they want their products to look good. So how we tested the different cleaners is, and here's our table one that you can start looking at, is on the table we spread, or at first I got my hands dirty by rubbing it on my dog who had been rolling in the dirt outside. And then I just kind of wiped my hands after touching her. And I did it a couple times, so I made sure the table got generally covered with that then we took yogurt thinking you know that the yogurt would have a lot of bacteria growth but again not much but i spread yogurt all over the table and then in our studies we read that one teaspoon of dirt has more than a million um different um microorganisms and so i figured you know that's going to have some bacteria and things in it as well. So we took a couple tablespoons of dirt and evenly sprinkled it on the table, stirred that all around on the table. And so this is from a Q-tip. Um, well, I took a cloth and I just wiped off the surface of it of just like one wipe. Um, Sam, will you give me one of the washcloths that we use, the white ones? Um, I just used a cloth and I just wiped off the surface gunk so I wouldn't have a bunch of dirt and things in this. But then I didn't clean it with anything else. And this is what the table turned out. And this is the kind of cloth that we use. It's just a white cotton terry cloth. So um, that's what I got with that. We also grabbed me the Norwex cloth. Um, so then the next thing we tested is, um, and so how I tested them is, we taped off different sections for each one of these. And so this table one, I only wiped that section off with this cloth, no spray. So then the next one was water. And again, we did the initial wipe off of the material on the surface. And then I just took a wet washcloth, a wet cloth like this, a new one, and got it wet and wiped it down. And so obviously it's not much better. There's not as much. These have a lot more of the thicker... Like there's a lot of little dots, but there's a lot of bigger dots on that one. This one is more just little dots. There's, a, there's one kind of big one right there, um, but mostly little dots. 
Okay, so it did actually get a teeny bit, but it still didn't get much. So the next one I tried because, so we have in the past, we've been cleaning our house with a homemade kind of cleaner, which is half of a container of water, half of a container of vinegar with a drop of dish soap and a couple drops of orange, lemon, and peppermint oil. And after seeing a couple studies that claim vinegar does nothing, I've kind of switched off from that, but I wanted to see how well that did. So here is the vinegar spray. And now there are obviously some big spots of that, but it's not nearly what those are. And when I first let these incubate, nothing showed up. It wasn't until the third day that they really started growing. So I was actually surprised that looks pretty good much a lot better it's obviously not great now one thing with these again i just wiped off the surface sprayed it and then i immediately wiped it i didn't let it sit and i only went over it once with a new cloth with the vinegar spray so you know maybe letting it sit that might have had a little more effect i don't know so then the next one we tried we got this melaleuca solution um and it was like a cleaning solution where you use equal parts the melaleuca with water and we got that for free i don't sell it we didn't even buy it someone gave it to us um but i figured i would try that and that actually produced a much better so you can kind of look at those two side by side so you know again there's still some spots not amazing so the third one i tried and this one i expect expected to do much better is i got these norwex cloths and I've seen a lot of like these similar kind of experiments from people who sell Norwex. And so I was expecting the Norwex cloth to do the best. Um, and we actually have been preparing to buy some more Norwex cloths because I've had this one to use. I have really enjoyed how well it picks up the dirt from what I can see. But I was really surprised by the results of the Norwex cloth. So the interesting thing to me about the Norwex cloth, you can obviously see everywhere I wiped the little thing but it is like super dense they're not even like little tiny spots or big blotchy spots so i thought that was really interesting i really thought the norwex was going to be the winner here um again with the norwex i did the same thing where i used the cotton cloth to wipe off the top surface stuff and then i took a wet norwex norwex and i wiped it and then i could still see a residue so i actually and i kind of felt like it was cheating for the norwex but i folded it inside out and went over it again so really the norwex got wiped over double with a clean side and it still turned out that dirty and also with the norwex i had cleaned it that morning with the norwex detergent and so um i don't know and i'm not saying all norwex doesn't do great but it really shocked me the how that turned out on this test so those are kind of the examples i got um, clearly to me, the Melaleuca one is the better winner. So I'll, once I run out of that, I may look into purchasing that. Um, but the vinegar spray really isn't that far from the Melaleuca. And I wonder if letting that sit longer or putting in like tea tree oil, cause tea tree oil is the Melaleuca oil, if that would have had similar results. So, um, interesting. I know a couple of you guys wanted me to share these. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, so that's what we found.